So, in case you've just come in off the street and really don't know what any of this stuff is about, transaction level modeling, well, I think of it as being make, making simulation go fast. You make simulation go fast by doing less pin wiggling, right? So, in a traditional RTL simulation or gate level simulation, you wiggle lots of pins, that's lots of simulation events, that takes up lots of simulation time. The basic game in transaction level modeling is to replace all of that pin wiggling with some function calls. And that makes simulation run several orders of magnitude faster. Why do you do that? Well, many of you will know this story already. Um, transaction level modeling is used for performance analysis and architectural exploration where you want a fast model that runs really quickly and is available very early in the design flow, available before the RTL code. That same model can also be used for software development, for developing software and firmware, prior to the RTL code being ready. So before you've reached the point where you can actually build a prototype or emulate, you can use that transaction level model. And that same model can also be used for hardware verification. So it can be brought into an HDL test bench and used as a golden reference model. And just to complete the picture here, we really live in a multi-language world here. And most of, the company, most of the customers we have at Doulos, companies who are doing significant SOC designs and using transaction level modeling, actually work in a mixed language environment. Typically, VHDL Verilog design teams still create the RTL code. Test benches may be created in System Verilog or Verilog or E or any other specialized language or even C and System C. Um, and transaction level models in this framework are typically used as golden reference models within that test bench environment. So system C and transaction level modeling um, takes its place within what is now a multi-language world in a very complex flow involving modeling issues, then design issues, then verification issues.